Hey everybody, Sabin Anneker and welcome to this video. In today's video I want to quickly show you how the new platform of MOB, which is called Has Offers, works. So as you probably know, uh, MOB has changed the platform from the POP platform to the, oops, sorry about that, to the Has Offers platform. So right now they are still running in parallel but uh, sooner or later they will change it to only has offers and um, since it's quite new everybody needs to get used to it and uh, I have played around a little bit and I was just in a webinar with Matt Boland lately where he went over all the most important points and I just want to show you some some of the points that I that I got out of the webinar, some of the most important things for me uh, in just a few minutes. So I hope this will not be too long, this video. So let's just get started. As you can see, this is the dashboard, the overview. And unfortunately, I haven't sent a lot of traffic the last days. As you can see, 23 clicks, which is really weak, but to be honest, I didn't have any solo ads or ad campaigns running this week or also last week. So that's why it doesn't look that good here, but uh, that doesn't matter. I just can tell you how it works. So if you click here on my account, you will have a few points here. For example, here you can contact the uh, mob support if you need to. For whatever reason, you come to this MOB support page. can also go to some frequently asked questions and stuff like that. Then the next one would be email alerts. If you want to be alerted, if you have any sales, so send sale email, send an opt-in email, but also send a daily email summary or a monthly email summary. You just can click here, no or yes, save notification, and then it's changed. Then account details. It's more about uh, the details about yourself. Then the billing, what you have earned so far. Then the sponsor, you can see who your sponsor is. For example, if I click here, you will see that my sponsor is Brandon Ellis and he is a platinum member and the diamond would then be Matt Lloyd. And here you can also see the affiliate IDs. Then again, here you can contact support and here you can log out. Then you click on the dashboard and then you're back here again. Now, if you're looking for an offer, and I'm going to do this example with the MTTB, which is probably the most used uh, program or the promoted program, we just click here on offers, then browse search. Then either you can go through the list, as you can see, it's three pages, or you can up here just put in MTTB. Then you will see this is actually separated. There is one campaign for the opt-ins with MTTB and one for the MTTB itself. Then you can either click here on the name or you click on the ID. You get to the same page. Now here we are in the overview of the MTTB. What you get here is actually a general affiliate link for you that you have. And here in the landing page, now you have a drop-down menu where you can choose the page that you want to link to. So you can, let's say you go to the MTTB letter. Then you can always click here on preview landing page. And then you see which page is actually loading. What's As you your... can see, this is the video sales page. What's important to know is if you click here on the view uh, on preview landing page, this does not count as a click on your affiliate link. So that's not the same as if you would now copy and paste it to another browser window and then hit enter and go to the page. That would count as a click, but if you do the preview, that doesn't count. And for example, if you want to link directly to the order form, as you can see, now the link has changed. It says link successfully updated. You click again on preview. And then you should actually go to 
stored page directly. Exactly. So what else can you do here? Is you can click on this one, generate time URL, see what happens with the link, it gets much shorter. So this is something you can do. Then you have an impression pixel that you can use. This I I am not really sure how to use it. I haven't used it to be honest. Guess you need to put it on your landing page. Then, now important, what you want to do is normally you just don't want to use this link. You want to actually track it in more details. Let's say you have uh, two solo ad vendors. You buy two 100 click solos from uh, vendor A and vendor B. And now <coughs> you actually want to know how, um, if you get any sales from which solo vendor they came from. So you actually have two different um, possibilities. You can either add a source here. So you would then hit, uh, you would write here solo add seller A. You click here on the plus and then as you can see the link here is updated and it adds the source here. And now if you have another one, I mean first you copy and paste this link, um, I mean paste on your page or button or wherever you want to use it in the email that actually goes out with your solo ad seller. Then you go and change it to B, click on the plus, this would then be your next link that you can send out. The other possibility that you would have, you don't do it with the source, you do it via the sub ID. Here you can actually only use sub ID 1 and 2 because 3, 4 and 5 they are reserved for mob itself. The ID 3 is actually used for um, the person's name. If you have a buyer you would see then the name here. The ID 4 is used for the email address and the ID 5 is used for the information if it's a tier 1 or a tier 2 sale. But you can use sub ID 1 or 2. Also, here you could actually write solo at seller A plus the only thing here it's now sub solo at instead of source. And let's say you do that here today in November. You hit plus again. Now you can see it's solo at seller A in November. And let's say next month you have with the same solo ad seller A another solo ad. Then you just write here December and you get another link. So this is really important if you want to track different things for the same page. Then you need to work with either the source or the sub ID. Now let's go to the reporting. There you have the performance report or the conversion report. Now, as I said, not, not really much happened this or last week in my account. Now, if you see here, now you can only see MTTB 24 clicks. What you always need to do is you go here to opt report options and then you have to activate the source. And then also if you use the sub ID 1 or 2, or you can also 3, 4 and 5, which is used by MOB, activate all of them. And what you also could do is, here you have impressions, clicks and conversions. You can also activate the unique clicks. You don't have to take the gross clicks, because gross clicks is exactly the same as only clicks. Then you hit apply. And what you see now, the list is getting bigger. Now you can see here the source. This is actually still coming from the pop platform where, where we had those codes. So for some links I just had code, code 19, 52, 74, whatever. And for some I used, uh, of course, um, <clears throat> like a description, like this is coming from my blog, this is coming from my YouTube channel, this is coming from uh, um, a testimonial page that I did for Frank, for example. 
So here you see then more in details where the clicks or even sales were coming from. And if you had some sales, then you should also see the sub ID 3, 4 and 5 with the information about tier 1, tier 2, email address and name. And if you use sub ID 1 or 2 to track anything, then you should also see the entries here. The same is actually for the conversion report. If you had any conversions lately, now you can see no results found within this uh, week. Also here you have the, <coughs> excuse me, the report options where you can activate the source and also the sub IDs. And what you then also can do is you can save the report for future. If you, if you have some reports that you always want to use, then you can save them. So in future you just can click on the saved reports and it will be shown to you. Um, legacy opt-ins. This is something that uh, Matt Boland mentioned. These are opt-ins directly on the MOB page. Or maybe you remember there was once this offer for the partner with MOB. And uh, I sent some traffic to this page. So these are actually all the opt-ins from this page that I have listed here. Then your downline. If you have a downline and sales, you will see the names here. I'm not going to click on this one here. I have people in there, but I don't want to show the names. Then the downline sales, if they had any sales or not. And then the tools, I think Matt Boland mentioned that we, we should not use it because it's not set up for MOBE. It's just there as a, as a menu. So those are actually the most important points. Of course, the performance report, the conversion report, maybe also the legacy opt-ins. And for sure here, the offers browse search where you have all the offers. And don't forget with the reports to check to check the mar uh, to check for the sub IDs and for the source otherwise you won't see this information and here at the offers also use the sub IDs or the source to track more in detail and uh, if you are using those things I think you get comfortable quite fast with this new platform it's actually easy to use um, yeah that's actually the only thing I wanted to show you. I think it's really easy to handle. You need to get used to it. Set up some uh, some links. Use it on your pages, in your emails or whatever. Uh, work with the reports and then you will find as well it's quite easy. So thanks for watching today and then see you in the next video. Goodbye.